don't worry about it. Do you want to just cancel it for now or do you want us to hold it until another day? The sign outside says closed, but the crew at the Oroville Flower Shop knows go through the ones in the refrigerator to miss this day. You need a damn good reason. Valentine's Day is huge. So without the staff, without the drivers. We've already got 150 to 200 orders that were placed prior to the evacuation order being put in place. Valentine's Day goes on. This is all family. We are all pulling together to get this successful. For those who stayed behind, the necessities are more important. Rumors started flying that one of the main grocery stores in town was going to open up today. It didn't. Just a lot of misinformation going around about who's open, who's not open. Can you get gas? Can you not get gas? If you leave, can you get back in or not? People who live above the Oroville Dam stayed behind, but there isn't coverage for cell phones there. Gas stations became the meeting place to figure out what was fact and what was not. Checking in with family out of state and work and people that live, you know, lower down, it was eating up a little bit of gas that had left, so it's relieved to find out that a, a gas station was open today. Fighting through rumors and closures, many have likely forgotten what day today is. You know, it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. People still love their loved ones, and we still love our communities. Whether it was another rumor or real, Valentine's Day at Oroville Flower Shop will have to continue some other day for a damn good reason. Kelly, we gotta go. There's another evacuation, she just said. Oh. In Oroville, California, I'm Todd Walker for The Now.